Speaking of Jazz, uh, we had All About Me, another episode of All About Me, and Jazz was the guest host. Uh, so, you know, this is, I like this segment because the the way that Tanil and Caleb with a K always play up on people, it's always like, I'm the guest, ask me a question, you're the host, Hilarious. you know. Yeah. Um, I thought it was funny. She has jazz there. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. you waited 24 years for this. Now's your big moment. Ask me a question. Like right. Something. And, uh, <laughs> you know, she's, you know, antagonizing jazz going back and forth. She basically tells jazz that she blames jazz for Rachel not wanting to be her partner. Um, you know, Tanil says she tried to be partners with basically the whole knockouts roster and none of it worked out. Uh, and then she thought Rachel Ellering was going to be the one. And then she blames jazz for that not working out. Um, so jazz realized she's being antagonized. She's like, yeah, you know what? I'm out of here. She gets up to, you know, kind of walk away. And Tanil says something like, go ahead and quit. Just like you did your wrestling career. Jazz comes back. She's like, if you got something to say, say it in my face. And Tanil, she, she acts like she's going to walk away. Then Jazz turns around to walk away. And of course, Tanil sneaks her from behind like any good bad guy would do. Um, we go to commercial. We come back. Jazz is laid out on the floor. And she's getting tended to by uh, Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering. They're pissed off. And then they come back and they cut a promo talking about, you know, everything they're going to do to uh, to to Tanil and Caleb with a K. They're going to face them in a a real mixed tag match is going to be Jordan and Rachel versus Tanil and Caleb next week. All right. And that was a lot. What'd you think about this? <laughs> I just, I, I, I just think it's so funny that segment dude, but the way they were just sitting in silence and just like, so, and so what, what is this Piper's pit? Like, dude, that shit had me rolling. Like I, I was legitimately laugh, laughing for that stuff. Um, I, I, I love everything Tanil and Caleb do. Uh, I thought the, Where's Dr. Ross with the with the lab coat um, checking on him? He wasn't there or checking on her. But I thought that when when those two girls ran in, I thought it started getting a little cheesy, and I thought the promo had some cheese to it. It was it was okay too. Um, had a little bit of cheese to it. This is they're doing long term storytelling with Tinio and her partner. I was hoping it was going to be Danielle Monet, aka Summer Rae, but mm. she's like legitimately modeling. It's it's like. Tanil's an influencer, but like this girl's like we're legitimately doing model shit. Like I don't think she has time to wrestle uh, or wants to get hurt. So um, I don't think that's going to happen. Even though I think that's a perfect partner. I'm worried they're going to just turn Jordan on on um, on her ultimately and, and just make her uh, the partner of Tanil. I, I would hate for that. I hope one of these debuting girls is her partner. So, but I, I like it. You're you're worried that Jordan's going to turn. Of course, Jordan's gonna turn. They've been forecasting this forever. I know, they, but they, 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 they were teasing back, Jordan so. turning for a long time. Yeah. Then they had Jordan come back and they did the big fake reconciliation. And they even they were like posting pictures on social media with both of them uh in in, in holding their knockouts championships when they had them and in uh matching cow pajamas. I was like, Oh god, she I is just hope it's not that obvious. I, turning on her. I, I, that would just be so unimaginative, uncreative at this point. They, if that's where they were going with it, they could have done a, I don't know. I mean, Jordan Grace is a great talent, but this is the first time we've seen any character development from right. her at all. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we know she can wrestle. We know she's in great shape. You know, she. we know she's strong as hell, but we haven't got to see any real character from her up until now. So I'm actually liking what we're seeing from Jordan Grace. She's on her way to being a heel. And being a heel is usually the thing that bring, brings out the best in most wrestlers' personality. You know what I mean? When they get to, you know, really dig down and, you know, be an antagonist to the fan instead of trying to be a, a babyface hero. So I'm hoping that, you know, this brings out a side of Jordan Grace that we haven't seen yet. And I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. 